What's up everybody? Just got finished kind of a little long walk, but back here about to try to catch some sockley, some red ear sunfish or shell cracker, and maybe a few bass. I can see them and hear them behind me. They're over there hitting the top, but I ain't brought no top water with me. Go figure. It is January 11th, 2018. It's the first video of 2018. It's gonna be a good year. So let me stop talking and show you what I'm fishing with. All right, here we go. Nice Nice. There we go. Got a nice one. Pretty, pretty. I mean, look at that. You don't get much prettier than that. Pretty tennis sockley. Freaking bit it funny. It just kind of tipped, tipped like a perch, and then it finally took it under. Water's got a real good stain to it. So I'm fishing with the Moglo chartreuse. Straight chartreuse, kind of got a little green back. Kind of similar to the thing I use a lot. If you watch my channel, that's what I kind of use. I'm fishing a little deeper than what I normally fish too. I'm fishing almost like a foot and a half, two feet almost. Seems like they're a little close to the bottom, but they got a lot of activity on top of the water. And you keep hearing a those are perch and sockley, but I ain't had no luck with the perch. I got a worm that's sitting out and nothing touched it, so. I don't know, keep throwing the jig along. There we go. Got another one. And another one. Jesus, man. Dude, I'm having like issues today. What is the damn deal? Oh my god. Got another one. Messed up on the first hook set, but second one got him. There we go. Number four so far. Let's try to get him in. So we can give old Papa some sockle. There we go. Number four. That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. Love them. These are my favorites. Shut the camera off for one second. Catch another one. Gotta love it. I'm about to say this thing was acting funny. It's acting kind of funny. See like that right there? See where the cork's laying down? Oh, okay. I was just kind of hung up with some stuff, but usually Sockley do that. If you're on something, Sockley will come up underneath the cork sometimes and hit it. Oh, there we go. All right, well it popped off, so that's good. Didn't really disturb the spot too much. I did that earlier, I disturbed it, but it ain't seem to affect them too much. I'm gonna throw a little bit off to the right now. See if I can get anything. Got four off of this thing already. I guarantee if I sit here and just kind of walk this bank and just throw in these little every oh! See, look, I'm over there talking, not paying attention. He dips me. Got him. Fool me once. Don't fool me twice. It's number five. I'm gonna leave my pole over there. I don't forgot about the thing with the worm on it. There we go. Got another one. Man, it's like when I hit that spot, it's just that spot. There we go, baby. So all I brought with me was a little plastic bag. But I got this bucket. I can put a little bit of water in this bucket. So I keep them fish fresh. I mean, nice, nice little fish. Not kill, not big giants, but. I'm happy because these are some of my favorite fish to catch. That trash can right there. Don't litter. Alright, there we go. Try to get him in. <laughs> there we go. Good one. Good one. That's number seven. Oh, that's Sockley fishing will spoil you and humble you all at the same time. All right, he came off last second. Yes. Perfect. Here we go. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but. As soon as the sun came out, they started biting. It was kind of overcast this morning, kind of dreary. Didn't want to bite. Haven't missed one yet, knock on wood, but see if we can get some more. I think that's nine. I mean, I ain't moved the spot, and I don't think that guy's doing too well over there. Now the sun went down. Let's see if they'll keep biting. Sun went away. Got a big patch of clouds coming now. It's supposed to rain today, so could also be the drop in pressure. Oh, could be the temperature now it warmed up. They 
little more active, to be all kind of little variables. That's things that you need to consider whenever you're fishing. Consider the variables, what species you're going after. Seemed like I was getting my bites when the damn sun came out. Now it don't look like the sun's coming out for a little while. We'll see. I mean, they're getting close to the spawn because down here in South Louisiana, whenever the spawn comes, it's usually right around. It could be any time from now until March or April. This uh, color I have on kind of resembles a bass or a little bluegill or something, something that's got some chartreuse on it. Juvenile fish, maybe that's what they want. Yeah, my cork's gone. I need the water. Maybe I got something. Nope, sure. Nope, yeah, I got something. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, a little bitty old bluegill. See, when I was here last time, I was catching some nice shell crackers, and that's what I was trying to show y'all today, but gotta adapt to situations. Sometimes things don't go your way. Oh my God, hey. Jesus, I'm about to slip and fall. Probably the biggest one I caught so far today. Nice fish. I don't feel like walking back to the thing right now. Almost fell down right here. Seems like they're on the bigger pieces of structure. They're not on the bases of the trees, but they're a little further out, maybe about 10 feet out. That one took it hard. Sun just popped out too. On the third pop, he ate it. Hopefully we find another little school, just like that. It's like hand-to-hand -hand combat in here, it's so thick. So it's kind of raining off and on, and it's kind of hard to film with the GoPro once it's raining. But I just caught a, I caught a few more sakale, and I just fell down. So, but it seems like they're kind of keying on this, these trees that are coming off the bank, the big trees at least. There we go. Got a go. Go back to where I started in the beginning. Got a fishing. He wasn't coming off. Sweet, sweet meat. There we go. Got a good one. There we go, got another good one. Yep, sack of milk, sac au lait. So that means in French, and they are delicious. And we are catching them. Yeah, I love it when you get an action like this. GoPro's dying. Caught in so many fish. They all up on the structure. Just like normal sock they are. Got another one. Ah, big old get What? Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he's running you against a boat. Good. <laughs> he's fighting you all, huh? He's, he's trying to break you off. Look like catfish at first. There's one a big buffalo. Good night. So one of the biggest keys for the day is if I didn't have these, my polarized glasses, I wouldn't have caught anything. Because the only way I ever seen any of the structure underneath the water was with these. This is one of the most underrated tools that you could use. And uh hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, drop a comment, and I'm gonna check y'all on the next one. Later.